Um, hey guys, this is Sherry again. Um, some of you know this already that I um, just finished my dragonfly journal. It's all done. Um, it took me through the 1st of April to the 12th of May. And so I'm going to do the final th flip through in this, which will be May 1st to May 12th. Um, I'm doing this one outside today, so if you hear weird noises or something, that's, that's what it is. Living in apartment buildings, so you might get that noise, but I'm at the little picnic table where there's trees and birds and stuff, and I really like that. And the shade that you keep seeing over the thing, that's, of course, the trees blowing in the breeze and everything. In the summer, it's going to be way too hot to do stuff out here, but right now it's beautiful, so. Anyway, let's start this. Um, here it is. I did. I did a hello May or it's May. It's May. These um, are actually rub-ons, not stickers. Um, but I somebody sent me some. Um, they're just gorgeous. I wish I knew where they got them. I would like them more. The rest are all stickers, even this 3D kind of stickers. Um, Oh, okay. Well, I could do that over, but yeah, you know, it's, it's still me still doing the same thing. So let's, uh, let's leave it the way, the way it is, huh? Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> That's, um, the first time I've ever dropped the phone. I think you guys correct me if I'm wrong. Certainly the first time I've ever dropped the phone outside at the picnic table. All right, I talked about the flooding on May 1st. Um, just Arkansas and um, parts of Tennessee and Illinois and Missouri, and just cut that out of the paper. And I got a really nice swap that had all these super duper washies in it. Mm, I watched some more Good Mythical Morning. Cause I love that show so much. It's a lot of fun. Um, so of course I had my husband, um, print out a picture for me that I could use and got caught up on some of the, um, yeah, I'm really, uh, I'm overtired is what it is. <laughs> um, that's still May 2nd and this is more about, this is flooding related, these news articles. Um, I bet you can tell what that's about. Yep. And then May 3rd, doing some raining. I found this awesome picture of up close of a dragonfly's face in uh, ID magazine, I think it is. Dragonflies are my favorite insect. Uh, one of, one animal that I think is amazing. Um, so of course I had to save that. It was also National Paranormal Day, so I watercolored this little ghosty dude. <laughs> you know. And I went and visited this uh, Harold's Famous Bee Cream. The store is right here in um, Farmington. It's down the road a little bit from me. Um, I'm going to leave that one. Because I don't know if she wants pe people to see it. But May 4th, I was driving to work, and... There was a big stack of hay, and there were like three cows eating around it, but there was a cow standing on top of it, just staring off in his face, like, I'm king of the mountain or something. And it's weird because they never see cows climb up on stuff like that. Goats do it all the time, but I've just never seen uh, cows do it. Oh, and this, this is all writing with like no decoration. Uh, the phone conversation I had with my mother-in-law that was funky and weird and different, so I stuck it in there because it's awesome. Um, oh, Down Under. I had been listening to this song, um, well, not on purpose. I mean, it just kept coming up on the radio like three or four days in a row while I was in the car, and I couldn't figure out what some of the words were, so I couldn't figure out what the song was about. So I decided to write them down and realized very quickly that I wouldn't have enough room for them all. So I just wrote the first bit, the first uh, section down with the um, first chorus. And uh, I think it's about being on drugs or something. Anyway, 
Cinco de Mayo. Let us celebrate. I love that little sticker. I got that from um, Bottled Tea Designs on Etsy. She has all kinds of cool stickers. And we went out to eat Mexican food. And then my husband found that picture for me and I loved it, so I stuck it in there. Um, get some 10 facts about me. Um, and, a, and a neat quote. And this is a picture from a magazine. I just thought it was pretty. And it really, <laughs> I did this at work, this collage. Do you see, I love my, I fancied up my, my chicken. <laughs> um, so yeah, <laughs> this is goofy, goofy stuff. Stuff I had to get done that day or, well, that I should have got done that day, but I didn't. Um, it's another day at work. I ate oatmeal. Not really exciting, you know. Um, did this page a different way. I just did main events and I had these, can you tell? Yeah, there we go. They're sort of metallic -y, shiny stickers. I made them like little bullet points, I guess, instead of um, just writing the way I normally do. Um, I got one of my statues in the mail. That's Bruin. And I got my fried eggs. Uh, Josh made me breakfast, so. And I found my <laughs> a drawing I had done. It's a doodle I had done a long time ago, so I stuck it in there. I got a letter from my grandma, which is very special to me because she almost never writes anymore, and I didn't know if I'd get any more letters from her because she's getting up there, so I just kept it. Uh, and then this, oh, this to-do list, um, this was just a thing from a swap. It was a washi swap, and um, she made a to-do list, sort of like a little note, and I thought that was really cute, so I had to save that. That was on May 9th. This, a lot of you have seen on my Instagram. I don't know, I just kind of felt inspired, and I really loved that picture. And when I put the butterflies with it, I liked it even more. Uh, I think it was like In Style Magazine or something. I got the picture of something like that. And then just the 10th, nothing, nothing f fabulous to write about. Um, oh yeah, and I filled up the page on the 11th. I got one of those um, grape, uh, grape cream slush at Sonic, which is my, at the moment, favorite thing to drink. Um, I'm getting ready to send my cousin um, this a copy of this book, so I photocopied it. I photocopied the cover. This was a book that I loved as a child, and um, I'm going to send one because her baby's, I think, due next week. Man, I ought to send that book out. Um, her baby's due next week, and I wanted to give the baby a book. So there's some gaming minis that I'm currently drooling over and want to um, buy for myself. Then, let's see what this is. Oh yes, this is uh, someone else's bucket list. Oops. It's not my bucket list, it's somebody else's because I did a swap on Swapbot called the bucket list where you had to send people what was on your list. So I saved hers and then I wrote a note about differences and similarities between hers and mine. Popped another picture of Clara in there with a book that I sent her. This, um, I got it for her for Christmas. So there's how to hide an octopus. Um, I went to a used bookstore, which I love. It's called Books Are Better. And I just wrote about that and um, stuck the little price tags in there and my handwritten receipt. I don't get those very often. I drew some dragonflies. I screwed them up, I think, when I painted them. But I don't know. I kind of like the big blue one on the right. And I found that somewhere. May you touch dragonflies and stars, dance with fairies, and talk to the moon. I think that's wonderful. Um, if I was going to have a gravestone, which I don't think I am, uh, I would put that on it. And then this is just for comedy's sake. Stressful day, try one of these abridged classics and it's just goofy. If you want to see them, you can slow it down and look at it. 
Then it was Limerick Day, National Limerick Day, so I wrote what a limerick is, and I found one I really liked, so I wrote it down. And um, it was also National Nutty Fudge Day, and I had a rant here because there's no pecans in this picture with all these other nuts. And I like my pecans. People who know me knew I like my pecans. And I was just so, it was just so not fair, I thought, that there were no pecans in the picture. Oh, and finally got the air conditioning fixed that has been broken since uh, sometime in April. And for people in Missouri with the weather, sometimes you need air conditioning in April. We shouldn't, but we do. Oh, yep, and then I went ahead and got a lottery ticket because I thought, oh, look, it's a, it's a dog one. How cute. I uh, didn't win. So I stuck it in here because now it's ephemera. And the cat was trying to get into my pork chops. And I was bitching about a fountain pen that I bought. Um, yeah, here, I'll slow down so that if you want to read about my fountain pen issue, you can. Okay. And then still using the fountain pen on this page, I drew a sign and wrote some more stuff. And then I switched pens because <laughs> I was tired of the fountain pen. And this is it. This is it. This is the end of my dragonfly journal. It's done. Because you flip this one over and it's a page that was saved for um, a letter that I found that my nephew sent me years and years ago. And there was random emails from my dad. My mood tracker. So my mood tracker goes from the 1st to the 12th. And I switched moods in that same day. That's what this is. I went from okay to almost overtired giddy so <laughs> you guys have seen this already that's just washi tape bits there's my pocket which ha now has only one thing in it my pen test which i did on the very first time i got the book perfume sample a picture of president dum dum uh random stuff and the back cover which is pretty basic so this is the end of this book but the beginning of another and this one um this this next one i was given by a friend for my birthday this is the back of it it's that uh what do you call it chipboard i think um it's really i mean like i don't know if this is focusing because i can't see the sun so bright um super thick um, I did my pen test <laughs> already, and I found this envelope that I had gotten, I think, washi tape in or something. So I, um, I glued it in here so that it can be my pocket. It's awful s stiff, though. I don't know how it's going to work. But the front cover was like this, except every so often I had gold uh, polka dot, right? But then polka dots are okay, but it was just, it was bland. That's all it was, it was just some larger polka dots so i found a piece of paper at hobby lobby and now this is what the front looks like instead of brown with polka dots i fell in love with this these are succulents paper was 49 cents i mean how could i pass it up and i got a a nice sparkly number five on it because this is journal number five let's see this it's got this i don't know sort of canvas i guess binding I'm hoping it's going to stay together really well because I i haven't used one like this ever. Um, it is all craft paper. You can hear that. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be, the paper's going to be decent. Um, there's a lot of pages. I mean, like, you know, crazy amount of pages. I have no idea how far this will get me. Um, but the pen test came out okay, I think. Um, I don't recall seeing any bleed through for any of the pens I used. I didn't use an actual Sharpie, but I used a Sharpie pen and that didn't go through. So we'll see how it does. Chandy rolls, sparkly. Um, but yeah, that's that. 
um, it doesn't come with a closure or anything. It doesn't even say who made the book. But I did find this really pretty green elastic to go with it to keep it closed. And it's, just, it's the same type as the one for my last one. It's just, this was pink. And because the book's a little smaller, I had to tie it. But this one is half an inch bigger around the top and side than my last one. And that's it, just a half inch, but that's okay. Um, it's gonna be cool. I may mod podge this. I may do some more to cover, I don't know. But that's, that's that. It's my old journal and my new journal and the picnic table and this pond thing that we have it's like so full of algae this outside our apartment but that makes it kind of nice um let's give you a little view here why not a little bit more about me that's what our apartments look like from a distance oh and there's some birds that have joined us now and we have this tiny little area. There's just two picnic tables and there's only one grill because somebody broke the last one and they never replaced it. Um, so we have trees, which makes this nice to come and sit outside, you know? Well, when there's all kinds of cars not going by and kids not being loud and yelling and stuff, but you know, anyway. Well, this has been Sherry, the Litness, coming to you from Farmington, Missouri, with um, a journal flip throughs and um, mindless babble, because, you know, that's what I do. See ya.